Hello traders and investors, how are you doing today my friends? Welcome to the Finance Hydra channel. My name is Nathan and today, today is Friday, so I'm gonna hear what you guys have for me, right? I'm gonna read your comments, I'm gonna uh, answer your questions or I will try to answer your questions, right? So uh, let's see what you guys have for me today and you are my subscriber, right? So in this case, remember to support this channel click on the like button because, well, you know the content is good, right? You know we're gonna have a very nice conversation over here, you know that we have a lot of a, a lot of good stuff to talk about over here, so... Uh, and probably you're gonna like this video, right? Probably you're gonna like this video, so... Yeah, remember to click on the like button, okay? And if you're not a subscriber yet, you should consider subscribing this channel because, again, the content is good and I invite you to participate in this community, alright? So, let's see what you have for me. Cho Free HR, I think that's your name. Hi Nathan, oh, hello there my friend. I love your analysis and I have been following your posts every day, especially Tesla. So this is a Tesla question. Let me see here. Uh, I want to get your thoughts on Tesla and if you think waiting for a Tesla price to drop is a good approach at this point in time. That's a very good question. I'm new to trading and afraid of how unintelligent I would look for asking this type of question. Okay, you know what I think it's very unintelligent? Is when I see people saying, oh Nathan, this stock is going to fly. This stock is going to drop, man. Believe me, it's gonna drop. Believe me, it's gonna fly. And this is it. That's the end of your argument. You know, for every single perspective you have in the market, you must have a fundamental base to every single one of your opinions. Okay, so for instance, if I believe a particular stock is going to drop, I will always tell you guys in details why I believe it's going to drop. Most of the time I have technical reasons, okay? But if you want to use fundamental reasons, okay, that's fine as well. If you believe a, a stock is going to outperform the market, is going to fly, okay. We have, I don't know, a good price to earnings ratio, we have a good price to sales ratio, uh, the revenues are increasing nicely, uh, the revenues are forecasted to increase nicely, or if, if, you use, if you want to use technical analysis, oh, we have a double bottom pattern, we have a pivot point, we have this bullish reversal pattern, this bullish candlestick reversal pattern forming this right here, right now. So I have a target at this point and this is it. That's my argument. Okay, even if I do not agree with you, I will at least respect you. Okay, so for every single opinion, use uh, base your opinion on something rather than, okay, I think it's gonna fly, I think it's gonna melt, because this means anything to me. Okay, most of the time when I see someone saying this to me, I will be polite. Okay, best of luck to you then. But I don't think this is an intelligent approach. In fact, you, my friend, you are 100% right. Okay, I think, I think waiting for a pullback is a very good approach. Let's, uh, let's see over here, Tesla's chart. All right, this is the one hour chart. Tesla right now is losing a triple support area made by the 21 Iman in the one hour chart, made by this green line over here, which was previously a resistance and worked as a support once, twice over here, now it's losing it, and this purple trend line, which was a support one, two, three, almost a fourth time over here. So we are losing this triple support level, meaning we might see a pullback in the daily chart. Not necessarily a pullback, but even if we see a time correction, a sideways correction, this means that the bull, uh, the bullish thesis is weaker. All right, so if we see a pullback again, maybe to the 717 over here, this previous stop, or even to the EMA around $780 over here, anything around this area, if Tesla reacts around this area, might be a very good time to buy Tesla, okay? But we must see a good reaction, like, I don't know, a Pierce Knight pattern, a Harami candlestick pattern, or a bullish structure in the one hour chart, like a bullish pivot. If we see anything good around this yellow area, okay, 
it's gonna be a very nice buy point for you all right it's gonna be very good because if you buy right now tesla maybe it will go up maybe but maybe it can go down all right so if the risk reward ratio is not making too much sense for you wait for a pullback wait for it to retest a support level at some point in the future tesla will retest its support levels all right it will okay i can i can guarantee to you it's going to retest its support levels at some point but right now since we are near possible resistance made by this gap over here okay now is not the best time if you buy tesla and see pullback you can't say that this was a big surprise all right because you are you are asking for a pullback over here but again i don't believe tesla will drop too much from here okay uh if it reacts around this yellow area good perfect but right now right now we are not there yet we are just losing this triple support area so we'll see how tesla will react next week okay if in the end after all tesla reacts over here and defeats the ema again and starts doing new bullish structures then this is gonna be a false breakout from this triple support area and and tesla will seek the 753 dollars next all right but right now i can't guarantee you that i only what i know with the information that i have right now at this moment is that tesla is losing support levels and pullbacks are just expected all right if it drops over here and reacts it's gonna be another buy right now i don't think it is a buy i think it is a hold if you bought tesla uh in 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 in, in the past few months okay you might just hold it right now but i don't think it is a buy necessarily a buy sign let's wait for more information all right my friends so let's see uh i have more questions from you of course uh professor burns hi nathan hello professor how are you doing thanks for sharing great content like your youtube videos and ideas i want to ask you what do you think about neo after the situation with baba all right uh it seems the chinese market might get slaughtered especially after seeing powerhouse like baba get halved in price okay think the same could happen to neo that's a very good question all right and i can i'm gonna use your question to answer other interesting insights about neo about chinese stocks uh regarding baba well baba dropped it from 300 to 150s over here honestly guys i think the moment is over okay we are concerned about the chinese markets and, and etc but guys now is not the time to be concerned because it already dropped it a lot now i think it's the time to buy i think uh, i think we are going to recover because i have technical reasons for that if, if you look in the weekly chart we are near a support level at this red line all right we could drop more yes we could to the to the 147 or even or even to the 130 over here okay yes we could but there is nothing telling us here that we are going to do this in fact the reaction in the weekly chart is quite good we have some bullish movements over here the volume is increasing nicely this bar over here on august 18 it feels like it is an exhaustion bar an exhaustion bar occurs when we see uh, a very strong bearish candlestick pattern near a support level after the stock already dropped it so it looks like we have an exhaustion over here and when you look in the daily chart it's trying to do bullish structures it's trying to do bullish pivot points over here in fact it did trigger this bullish pivot point it's doing higher highs higher lows all right so i think we have early signs of reversal on baba it's not perfect i agree with you it's not the best moment ever because we don't have too uh it, we don't have too many confirmation over here confirmation signs over here yet but it is the beginning of something all right if you ask me oh uh now is the time to sell baba no the time to sell baba was here right around here now is the time to buy in my humble opinion i don't know if baba will keep dropping but since i am out and if i had uh, if i had cash left and if i was interested in buying alibaba 
I would, I would look at this chart and, well, I think it is a buy opportunity, all right? I think it is just a buy opportunity because I, I simply can't sell at this price level because, okay, it's gonna drop to, I don't know, 130, so, but it can simply fly again to the EMA. So the risk reward ratio is not good for me who's, who's planning on sell it, but it is good for me who's planning on buy it because I, I, I will buy it, set a stop loss under 100, uh, 150s over here and wait for it to retest the EMA or I don't know, the previous resistance at $230. So the risk reward ratio favors the bulls over here. So I think the moment for, for the bears is over. All right, I think there is nothing left for you guys over here. And regarding NEO, NEO is extremely resilient because although Baba dropped it sharply, NEO didn't, all right? NEO is, is still quite strong. It's, you know, it's very, very resilient. And like Baba, it's triggering bullish pivot point, a bullish pivot point in the daily chart, all right? It's doing a higher low and a higher high. So this is a very nice reversal pattern on you. I think you is going to reverse and hit the $55 in the future. And if you look in the weekly chart, it seems like a big pennant pattern, right? What is a pennant pattern? It's this pattern I'm drawing to you guys right now, okay? This looks like a very nice pennant pattern. Tesla did a similar pattern last year. Let's analyze Tesla's chart again over here see this tesla did a very similar pattern and it went up from uh 400s to 900s so will the same thing happen to me over here that's a very good question all that i know right now is that we are near a support level in the weekly chart doing bullish reversal patterns in the daily chart i think it is a buy all right so uh, despite the fact we see the Chinese markets in trouble over here, I think the risk reward ratio favors the bulls, all right? Remember what my dear Nathan Rothschild said, I don't know, many, many centuries ago, buy when there's blood on the streets, all right? So now I think it's a time to buy it. Honestly speaking, I think it is a good opportunity to buy it. All right, so I have more questions, but I can't answer all of your questions right now, my friends, because my time is limited over here, but I will answer all your questions given the time. All right, my friends, so you forgot to click on the like button. You forgot to subscribe to this channel. What the hell are you doing? Remember to support this channel, my friends, because I told you the content is good. You are still watching, right? I mean, you wouldn't be here if the content wasn't good, all right? So it's about time for you to support me. It's about time for you to subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much for watching this video. See you guys on Tuesday, right? On our next video here on the Finance Hydra channel. Thank you very much, my friends. See you guys later. Bye-bye.